Good morning, Wolfgang. Thank you very much for joining this interview today. We will talk about Mint Lesion and specifically its add-on Mint Analytics. And before we start, I would like to ask you to introduce yourself. Good morning, Stefan. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm happy to introduce myself. My name is Wolfgang Kunz. I am an associate professor um, of radiology at LMU Munich, a larger academic center in South Germany. And I'm heading oncologic imaging as well as our clinical trial center. Thank you very much for introducing yourself. Now I would like to start with the first question. And I would like to know um, how was the initial situation before the implementation of Mint Analytics? So Mint Lesion has been our most valuable companion for clinical trial imaging and structured response assessment over many, many years. And this considerably facilitates our workflow is also instrumental for quality control, especially in using ever growing numbers of response criteria, multiple trials now use multiple response criteria alongside. And in our experience before implementation of Mint Analytics, we were not as aware of how many reads had been performed overall or by trial and also by criteria, or for example, also by individual radiologists. And what, yet, what led you to realize specifically that you wanted to implement Mint Analytics? Yes, so we were looking more and more for a way to monitor our clinical trial reading activity as our center has really grown considerably over the years. And this is by number of trials, but also by number of reads and complexity of trials with multiple um, response criteria running alongside. And so we needed tools to keep an overview of, of this growing demand and for strategic and planning purposes. And yet, in fact, however, we were confronted with the opposite. So um, during the first wave of the COVID-19 pandemic, we were intrigued to know how much this affected our capacity and, and also to get a, an idea of how potential economic consequences this may have. And as many elective exams had been canceled off, um, luckily we've been in a situation at this hospital that um, we were never forced to uh, um, postpone exams for patients who were actively treated. So those were always kept to the schedule and also patients who had close ongoing surveillance. And therefore we actually did not see a major impact on the numbers of trial reads, which we tested in Mint Analytics. Um, and this is across the board for all trials that we are um, taking care of. And so a minor effect has been temporary noticeable on the inclusion side. Some sponsors halted inclusion for a little bit, but this has also ramped up to our normal amount now. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that you uh, went well through the pandemic. And now I would like to ask you also, could you describe your personal feelings that you experienced when you first encountered the new possibilities with Mint Analytics? Yes. So... Uh, actually, the very first time I opened uh, and tested Mint Analytics, I was uh, thoroughly impressed by the power of data visualization. Um, just to be able to instantaneously view data across multiple trials, just to give an idea, we've got 600 trials running over the years and also multiple thousands of trial participants. And you can go into subgroups, go into specific response criteria, and so my very first thought was, okay, this will be uniquely helpful or transformative for advancing research with imaging endpoints. And where exactly do you see the benefits of, of using Mint Analytics? Yeah, so just very plain and simple. On the one hand, you've got basic features that include live monitoring of trials and recruitment across trials. And this can be useful or will allow us to plan and anticipate the future workload and capacity of study centers. But also a tremendous benefit is in data visualization across trials, which I am confident that this will advance and expedite image endpoint research in trials. Um, but for example, we also notice other benefits. Um, for example, we were unaware of how many revisions of reads had been performed over the last how many years. It's, it's a rare incident, but it happens and maybe how this was distributed among different trials and what were the reasons for revisions. And so we actually, through Mint Analytics, identified a few trial sites that had been repeatedly sloppy with giving us exact um, dates of the imaging points, baseline and follow-up and so on. And obviously this has to be revised if it's not the correct baseline. But also we had identified a few trials where the reason was uh, that we had to classify a, a lesion differently as, as a non-target lesion because it had been previously treated, and we, we you cannot know these informations um, 
if you're not provided with them. So this is one thing where where we tested Mint Analytics and proved to be very useful. And have you been sharing your results with your colleagues, with your team, with other departments? And if you have done so, how do they react to that? Yes, yeah, so actually for the just the two aforementioned examples, we uh, um, contacted the, the referring trial centers and um, used this to together to improve quality control. So we identified some issues that were repeatedly happening and um, communicated and there was agreement on both sides that we need to do better on, on these specific trials. Um, and we noticed these effects fairly soon, so like the next follow-up points were, were better and I think this will be very useful for operational purposes in the future. But on the other hand, for example, we have some um, trials that are also run by oncological PIs uh, at my hospital. And I, I showed them in analytics uh, for the ongoing trials, which are obviously still blinded, but they can get an idea of how is progression-free survival um, in this patient population. This is what I would expect. And um, to give them an estimate to cross-check if, if the responses are what they would also clinically expect. And their feedback was instantly that they see a, a huge potential for safety monitoring of trial drugs. And in your own words, how would you describe Mint Analytics? Yes, so Mint Analytics can be um, seen as an expansion of Mint Lesion, um, especially an expansion of your means of structured response assessment through instantaneous visualization and analysis of the collected data. And instantaneous is like it's daily um, that it's um, updated. And so you can use it as a whole, or you can monitor an individual trial, or you can monitor all the trials that use one specific response criteria. And I think this adds value for radiologists, oncologists, trial centers, potentially sponsors in, in dedicated trial monitoring and data analysis. And moreover, I think Mint Analytics has significant potential to accelerate the scientific use of collected imaging data in trials. And could you provide us with a little outlook? So what are your future plans with Mint Analytics? Um, yes, I do have many plans, in fact. Um, so we will use Mint Analytics for monitoring, as mentioned, and to further enhance quality control in our study center. But furthermore, Mint Analytics also opens up avenues of new research projects. Every time I scroll through Mint Analytics and discover new little tools, um, this gives me an idea of what else I could potentially pursue as a research project. And so, for example, we would be interested to implement Mint Analytics to identify atypical response patterns, um, for example, pseudoprogression and hyperprogression, especially in trials that test uh, immunotherapeutic drugs. And I think based on the large data that is analyzed, um, Mint Analytics could prove very useful for screening imaging data in centers. And this will be for investigators and sponsors alike. And do you have any further ideas how Mint could also help you, Mint Analytics in particular? Yes, so as head of our study center, I'm really looking forward to working with Mint Analytics um, for the aforementioned reasons, uh, live monitoring of trials, etc. But I'm also confident that it will provide me with new research ideas along the way. And I'm also therefore very excited to further develop this highly potent tool with Mint Medical. And uh, do you see any further stakeholders that could also benefit from Mint Analytics in the medical industry? I'm very sure that larger imaging CROs will derive a great benefit through Mint Analytics. Um, just the ability to live monitor progression-free survival in clinical trials will be very useful. Um, and also on that uh, note, uh, very useful for drug and safety monitoring boards and trials. And last but not least, I think um, to form really large national and multinational research collaborations, there's a need for um, a collective platform for everybody. And I think that Mint Analytics could really, could really be formed as such a platform to um, enhance research projects uh, in, in clinical trials. Yeah, well, thank you very much, Wolfgang, for your opinion. Thank you very much for this interview. My team and I, we are also very much looking forward to working with you in the future, further developing this tool and supporting you in your daily work, in your study center and with all your research endeavors. So thank you very much and goodbye. Thank you as well. Goodbye, Stefan. Bye-bye, Wolfgang.